folks. Today we're going to talk about Flip, formerly known as Flipgrid. So we're going to learn how and why Flip can be beneficial in your classroom, review how to set it up, create and grade Flip assignments, and then finally discuss ideas about how to use Flip in your classroom. So what exactly is Flip? Well, it's a great formative assessment tool that allows students to record information either with video, screen casting, or even just audio, which can then be viewed and commented on by other students. It's a great tool for exit slips, elevator pitches, mini speeches, and most importantly, it's a great tool for reflection. It's fast, it's free, and easy to use. So this video creation or, or media creation allows students to have a voice. It cultivates literacy skills, it involves student engagement, and it really can increase the amount of feedback that students receive, not just from you, but from their peers as well. It can be live, it can be asynchronous, and it's excellent for review. So if you're looking to blend in your classroom or if you are officially a blended class, this is such a great tool that increases the amount of time of the place in which they can, can share their learning, the path and the pace. So let's actually talk about setting up a grid here. So I'm gonna minimize my screen here and I'm gonna go over to flip. Now, there have been some updates, but not, not a ton. So if you haven't used it yet this year, let's just take a quick review together. So with Flip, you can sign in with your school account. And then from there, I like to create a group, which is essentially a classroom, for each class period and each uh, prep that I have. So I am creating this grid, and I would name it Second Period Speech. You can customize the banner, and here you can choose who can join. So I choose anyone with the link, and then here I can put our at d155.org domain, which means that only students within my class who have the link can join the grid. So it maintains that privacy and it really helps make it accessible for all of our students. So once I create the group, then I can go in and actually set up the topic. And now this link, if I post this link in Canvas, my students will be able to access it. So it comes with a created topic, but I like to do a fresh topic and I do a topic for every assignment. So if this is a unit review, I can title it unit review. I can write up to 500 character description here, and then I can add media and attach a document. So if this is a more extensive review, if, if it's not short and holistic, I can give resources, I can connect to Canvas and do a lot here. I also can change the time. So depending on the goal of the assignment, depends on how long you might want this grid to be. Typically, I keep it short when I am doing a review assignment. I also can go to settings here, and if, if it's on moderate, that means students cannot view videos until you approve them. So I'd like to toggle that off. I can send an end date. I can choose what camera features they use, and typically I leave them all on. Responses. If I want students to respond to each other, I can make sure that they can respond. I can turn off, I typically turn off view count. And I do like liking on videos, so this gives students some ways, different ways to give feedback. And once I set up what I like for the topic, I can save changes to my default. So every single time, this will be the default unless I choose to change it. And then I can post the topic. And the topic here, this is what I'm going to copy and paste into Canvas. You can also link it directly into Canvas, but typically I just post a link. So once you set up, so we've gone through all of these different features together, you're going to note that these topics, there's so much that can be added to a FLIP assignment. So with FLIP, I like to record a video myself and then I'll post that for my students. And again, I can play and customize any way that I want. So how do you grade it? Well, you can grade and I will take you to one of my previous groups here. And I can go, if I go into Scrolling down here, I'm going to go to my humanities class. Here are different topics from last year. You can see I have two sections, so I have 50 members. 
if I was grading a project here, I'm going to click on this is the teacher, the admin link. I can go through and I can watch. I can add my own comments here and then I can grade it through Canvas. I can also use this as an external tool assignment and have the videos get directly linked into SpeedGrader. So that is a little bit about Flip and how you can navigate that process. Keep playing around with this great way to review key content, to share out and curate great ideas, and to amplify student voice.